So three things that every psychiatrist should know about drug addiction is that addictive drugs have in common that they converge onto the mesolimbic dopamine system. That is, regardless of the precise molecular target, they increase the dopamine in that system. The second one then is that dopamine has a modulatory role on glutamate and GABA transmission. And the third, the actual transition to a compulsive use does not occur in every individual. As a matter of fact, even with the most addictive substances such as cocaine and amphetamines, only one out of five will eventually fulfill the diagnostic criteria of addiction. My tip to apply the three points in the daily practice of a psychiatrist is that this will help you understand why individuals use not one but several drugs at the, t at the same time. Since they share a common backbone, that explains why someone is using nicotine and cocaine or amphetamine and alcohol together. So my prediction what might change in the next five years is that we will have a much better understanding about the molecular basis of the individual vulnerability for drug addiction. It may be possible to screen the gene or the epigenome and make a prediction whether someone actually is likely to become a drug addict. The second prediction that one might make is that we'll have circuit-based therapies that will allow us to bring patients into a uh, normal life by treating them, for example, with deep brain stimulation.